Hi, today I want to talk to you about how to soften a shampoo. What do I mean by softening a shampoo? Sometimes you may find yourself in a situation where you don't have your favorite shampoo. And what's available may be something really inexpensive. And oftentimes what's available that's inexpensive may have more difficult or more harsh or excuse me harsher surfactants. So what do you do? Well what I like to do is I like to soften the shampoo. And so what I do is I take out the amount I'm going to use and I put it in a separate container or a cup and then what I do is add water and dilute it a little bit and if I have any oil then I go ahead and add some oil. A lot of times when you're in a place where you don't have your best shampoo product, it's hard to get things like aloe vera and essential oils. So the bare minimum would be, of course, the water. And then the second component that is important would be the oil. And so why does this soften the shampoo? Okay, so what I want to do is show you the practical aspect of how to soften a shampoo with a minimum amount of product. So I have this shampoo, it says mix a baby, it's a baby shampoo. And it on the back it does have some sodium lauryl sulfate. Now the good thing about baby shampoos is that they tend to not, they tend to not be formulated with formaldehyde. Other types of products sometimes have formaldehyde, but usually with baby products they tend to not be formulated with formaldehyde. So if you are in a store and all you have access to is maybe over here there's some uh, shampoo that's really harsh and over here there's uh, some baby shampoo, I would suggest you choose the baby shampoo because most times it's not going to have formaldehyde. So with that stated, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put in how much I would usually use. So for, for me, I probably use about about that much. Okay. I don't know what that is, but and then what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and put some water in here. So I've diluted it. That's the next step is to dilute it. I'm mixing it around with my finger. You want to use warm water, that helps. And if I have some oil, and I think I do, let me kind of look around here. Uh yes, I do. So then I'm going to take, I have a little bit of this uh, castor oil, so I'm going to use some of this. And I'm going to use a, probably a couple of drops, so there we go. It's probably more than a couple of drops. but So I put the castor oil in there, and any oil will do, whatever you have. And this is all that I had right here, and I'm going to mix it in here. And if you have aloe vera, that's great, but you don't need it. But water is the most important and then oil is the second most important. And so basically now I have softened this shampoo. So this shampoo is not as harsh for my hair as it would be had I not softened it. So that's the practical way to do it. So now let me explain to you about how you, the science of it. So here we go. What we have here are the surfactants and the water. The surfactant is green and it has a head and a tail. And the head likes water and the tail likes oil. The water molecule looks like a blue teddy bear with an O2 face and H plus ears. The water connects to form a relationship and the connection is very strong at the surface. The black line shows the surface. In this picture now the red line is the surface and that's the surface tension of water. The orange or the water molecules before, below the surface tension of water don't have or exert that much force. So they are not really part of the reason there's surface tension in water. Next we have the surfactants and what they do is they go into the water 
tail first and they separate the connecting water molecules. The green head again loves the water and the tail is attracted to oil, dirt, and grime. The tails stab into the dirt in, in hair or wherever they find dirt and they form something called a mesel, which is basically they stick into dirt like pin cushions and then the entire structure is rinsed out of the wash with the water. When you add water that dilutes the amount of surfactants in a certain volume proportionately and then when you add oil the surfactants that are in the diluted shampoo and water are attracted to the oil and it pulls even more surfactants out of the solution. And so then what you have is a shampoo that has fewer surfactants per volume as well as a shampoo that has fewer surfactants that are actively looking to get oil. So therefore you have softened the shampoo. I want to tell you thank you for your time and attention and I hope that you were able to find something helpful or useful in this video for you and for the health of your hair. Goodbye!